Welcome back to the Laugh Daily Podcast. We have a cool episode today. We are doing uh, a studio tour. Something we've never done before. We want to give you all the ins and out of the J Stew compound. Everything that goes on here from video making to behind the scenes, you're going to get a behind the scenes look today. Yeah, so you've probably have seen all these things in videos, but we're going to give you the, I mean, there's stuff. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So to start, we're gonna go inside the house, which is used for so many things. There's so many things. So we walk in and we immediately are greeted by Rob Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> we have the entryway right here. No one lives in this house, so you're gonna notice it's not very cleansly. <laughs> clean? Oh yeah. You're gonna notice it's not very clean in here based on the walls we've used, we've painted for videos. So what do we got here, Samuel? Um, we got our dining room. That's right. Which is pretty great. Samuel's currently eating his lunch. This is where we have team lunches every Friday, but people eat here every day. Yeah. But team lunches are on Fridays. Yeah, those are different. This is just lunch break, and then team lunch is a, a full activity. Peep the signs on the wall. Beautiful. Lovely. This room has had so many different things going on in here. This is where we built the uh, secret bed entrance. We built the piano in here. We built the skate park in this room. But now it's just the lunchroom. What's that? This was, we drilled a hole up here to see where the, the joists are because we wanted to take down this closet and this whole landing and demo this whole area. That was when we first moved in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go to the kitchen. <clears throat> Over here first, this is where we used to have lunch when the team wasn't as big. I mean, this is the kitchen. Why well, are you okay? Sorry. But since the team has grown so much, we actually don't even use this room for anything. It's just, it's just here. Your stereotypical 80s kitchen. I don't know if this is from the 80s, but it this looks house like was built in the 90s. All right, 90s kitchen. Uh, we got wood cabinets. We got the snack pantry with Drew. He's diving into all the snacks. Taking a break from editing, huh? Getting some pretzels. We got, let's just look at the snack assortment. Must have snacks. Must have snacks. Um, Drew, which, what is your favorite snack currently? In here. In here? We don't, we have a ton. My favorite snack is probably, well, we're, maybe I ate them all. You ate them all? Yeah. Huh? These are pretty baller. These cheesy veggie straws. Yeah. Super good. Also, these aren't healthy. Fun fact. Fun fact. But we like right. to think they are. You know, I've been enjoying these a lot lately. Chili roasted pistachios. No, no, no. Pretty good. No, no, no. The honey roasted. Carice actually, once a month, goes to Sam's Club and does a snack run for everyone on the team. So this is usually pretty full of snacks, but right now we're on the lower end of things. You want to get out of here, Drew? Yeah, I'm going to yeah, we'll, eat lunch. Sorry, we'll, we'll get out of your way. Thanks. <laughs> and also... What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, no! Oh, no! Are you okay? Don't mind him. Oh, I'm out of my new hoodie. <laughs> uh, we only have a microwave to cook food because the oven is decommissioned because of another video. What snacks should we get in the snack department? All right. Over here is another room. It's just a living room. Kind of store props sometimes. <laughs> this is where we have the fridge now because the other fridge is out of commission. Drew! <laughs> I'm sick and tired. It's actually not bad right now. Everyone stores their lunches they bring from home during the week because Fridays, like I said, we buy the lunch for everybody. And then we got a nice variety of drinks and coffee. This is the best part of, about this room. Here's two darts, sir. Okay, thank you. Is you can play darts. Oh. Wow, oh, that was close. Almost. Oh, that was bad. Oh! oh Hold on, just for you guys. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Hell, that's what this room is for. The final room before we go downstairs. This is the bathroom. Someone might be in there. Hello? Nope, we can go on in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the edging here. Most of the doors have this because they have been converted into hidden rooms in the past. But this is the uh, costume closet. 
As you can see, we got hats, all different uniforms and costumes we've acquired throughout the years, decorations, well not decorations, but more props right there. Mm. Here's the full prop list if you're ever interested. I'm not showing you guys, but like if you come in here, I'm like, do we have, let's see, for example, a dodgeball, two of them, we do. Huh? And if you're a really big fan, <coughs> you could look at each object object and be like, I remember that video. Some of you might, might be like, what is this from? Well, you should watch the channel more. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this room used to be sort of like our office and where we had team meetings. Again, when the team wasn't as large. Dude, I forgot what? about that. You did? We used to all cram in here in this room. We get so hot by the end of the meeting. We're all like, oh, we'll get out of like here. Some people would be sitting on the ground. This was before we built the warehouse. Oh, oh, we came oh, upstairs. Yeah, I forgot. The merch closet. All the newest J. Stu merch in here. If you ever just need to throw on a, a merch t-shirt or whatever for a vid. New no. and old. New and old. We got them all right here, just easy access. I'm not sure why this is in here. It looks like it got eaten by a dog. You know what? That's still useful maybe, like if you're getting spoiled milk dumped on you. That'd be a good shirt to pick. Yeah, I never had Ooh, we even got some of the rare shirts. Whoa. Blue foil Marv when that was out. That's pretty sick. Still in this package. All right. Upstairs. We used to have a P.O. box back in the day when it was just Andrew and I. And we get a lot of fan letters, so we kept a bunch of them. I mean, just look at this. These are from like probably five, six plus years ago. My favorite is this one. More J. Stu. You guys are so cool. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't have a P.O. box anymore, so they can't send us anything. Oh, this was a, a hidden room. <laughs> <laughs> this also was a hidden room. This also was a hidden room. Most bizarre looking bathroom ever. We built a bunk bed in here over the toilet. <laughs> Hit that light right there, man. Oh yeah. But don't open the toilet. Look at that. What did Not just normal lights, we got vibes. It's pretty sick. You know? Isaac loves this bathroom. It's a great bathroom. And this is the music studio where Isaac, behind the camera, show yourself. Hello. Does all the music things. This was a recent challenge, so there's a bunch of Isaac's hair. <laughs> it's got a mess in here. Yeah, and then we got our makeshift sound booth right here. But this just shows, guys, that if you want to do something, you don't have to have the fanciest of things. You can make it work wherever you are, whether you're in an apartment or an actual house. Isaac just bought these... Uh, Sound, what are these called? Sound panels? Soundproof foam, Soundproof I guess. Foam. <laughs> I don't know. And just attached it to the wall right here, and then you put the mic right here, and you got yourself a sound booth. <laughs> Quality. Do you want to look down here real quick? <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. There's a big burn in the carpet down here. And this is when we were doing a video up here, and we left some lights laying on the floor and we came back after the weekend and it smelled like the house, like it didn't really smell like it was burning. It smelled like chlorine, like a pool. But that's because the carpet and the plastic was all burning overnight or over the weekend. You said we. I'd like to point out that that was Hyper who did that, not we. <laughs> Good point. He almost burned down the house. <laughs> Whoa! Cool transition. <laughs> so eventually, if the music channel keeps blowing up, we'll have an actual legit <coughs> studio maybe one day in here. Oh, oh, no I way. I would love that. <laughs> this room did used to be our uh, gaming channel. We had all the gaming computers all in here with all these desks that went over the whole room, all green screens. Oh, yeah. But I think we have the green screens right here, actually. As, yeah. you, as you guys know, we canceled that channel because it is not working. <laughs> We have four of these like retractable green screens, which will come in handy whenever we need green screens. We did just use one actually. Crept on the beach. Yeah. Another bathroom. This is the best bathroom to poop in. This is the best bathroom to poop in. <laughs> Everybody uses this bathroom to poop in. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> And then this room, because right now it really isn't anything. This is actually the room we were going to turn into the podcast room, and we decided to go mobile. More cool fan mail. I'd like to point out some of these drawings. It's phenomenal. Look at this. Back in the day, there's Andrew and I right here. Some more cool drawings, so we need to hang that up somewhere. But again, this room, when the team was smaller, used to be the editing room. So Rick... 
and I think Drew was up here at one point. They had their desks lined up. We even had like a little conference table right here because it was just like four people. It was perfect, but this room got really hot in the summertime. So I think one time Drew was editing in his underwear because it was so hot. Yeah. <laughs> And we had a oh, old OG ideas wall. Look, micro Chick Fil A, Hot Wheels budget challenge, porta potty bunker. That did really well, and uh, we just it's not erasable. So, <laughs> <laughs> and then another hidden room. You'll notice a theme with our house. It's all just a oh, oh that light doesn't work. <laughs> the whole house is just ruined because of hidden rooms. Literally, that goes into the attic above the garage. And then we have a hole in the floor still over there. Because of a All of these things will get repaired someday, but if you're in this room, yeah, you gotta watch out. You don't wanna go, yahoo! <laughs> then we have <laughs> random stuff sitting around behind the TV. Just got an Xbox One sitting there. <laughs> some things aren't organized. We do so much, it's hard to keep everything organized all the time, but we make it work. All right, it's time to head Two stories down into the basement. Here Are you impressed? Take him a, give him a tour of yours, Andrew. Oh, don't look at our uh, IRS letters, but. <laughs> so this is my desk. Come sit down, do some work. Pretty chill. Got this nice lamp, water bottle, everything you need. Play buttons. This couch is only in here because of when we watch videos sometimes, we'll sit together, but usually it's in that other room. This is the VO desk. So anytime you hear our voices talking over things, we got the mic right here. We'll record and send it to the editors. That and Samuel will come down here and do work sometimes when he's researching Home Depot prices. But if you guys are nerdy, you'll really like how we have the internet set up here. We have a oh. NAS system. Oh, no. hey, hold your oh. horses. We'll get Drew, Drew blurped it out, so. Oh, good. The whole, man. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Yeah, I know. We're not even there yet. Okay, we got Anna, who's on the team, of course. She sits right here and does some work. <laughs> this, used to, this used to be Caleb's desk. Rip. Yeah, rip in the chat. <laughs> you didn't even show him your desk. Oh, why my desk? Yeah, sorry, guys. Here's my desk. Uh, also the Mac. I got my... Uh, Official proclamation, I am the Lord Justin Stewart now. <laughs> I'm not kidding, you could call me that. Legitly. So, cool desk, bathroom, very tiny art painting. Ah, it's pretty cool. We kind of reserved this one for the ladies because you know you don't want to share bathrooms for cooties and stuff. Well, I use that sometimes. This one stinks oh. the worst for sure. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> maybe Matt uses it? Uh, I think he might still does. <laughs> Any, no, he goes upstairs. Anyway, this is the, is there more lights? No, I guess not. This is the uh, camera cage, an equipment cage. Cage, room, whatever you want to call it. So we try to keep it organized. So look, you've got like camera accessories, drone parts. Uh, we have all of our cameras sitting here. We have everything that you can plug in, get charged. Right now we've got a full charged battery, so I'll throw that in the charged battery bin. You know, just everything you need, really. For More, cameras. Yeah, camera stuff, cactus. Like we have like hard drives and HDMI cords and stuff like that. Then we got over here computers, lights, camera bags, drones, tripods, everything you really Speakers. need. Speakers. Literally, all the stuff we accumulate over the years. We use it one way or the other, uh -huh. if you see it. So this is the equipment room. Carice is not home right now, but this is her office, which used to be the Laugh Daily Podcast room. Remember this? We got the wall. Yep. Yep, yep. I'd sit here, Andrew sit there. we talk, but now we got Carice, who does all the behind the scenes stuff for us. We got a bench sometimes, we'll have meetings here. Hello. Carice has got a picture of her and her boyfriend. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh and then she's, <laughs> she's got the the Bible study notes here. I don't know. Bible devotional. Ooh. And C.S. Lewis. Should we read this? No, put that back. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Chris. We won't read your love letters. <laughs> and then this room was a hidden room, but at the same time, it was sort of like meant to be our 
chill brain blast room, but we haven't really used it that much. Yeah, we got the ladder going up to the fridge, so it's... This could really be anything. So if you guys have any ideas of how we could use this space or one of the other empty rooms, let us know. Nothing important there. That's just the uh, storage room. Utility room and washer and dryer. All right, so that, I think, is officially the house. You can see this is where the entrance to the underground stairs used to be. See the cut in the carpet? I didn't even know that. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't break. What? What? Ah! Yeah, for a long time, this was the only thing we had. But what's unique about what we do is we have a lot of outdoor sets and activities as well because we have a lot of acreage. So I feel like there's not a ton of YouTubers that have a lot of like outdoor space as well as a studio. So I think that's what makes our tour fun and unique. I bet we've used like 80% of our property. Right here used to be the micro apartment, if you guys remember that. Took up a giant space. We had a, a zip line installed up there. Just a bunch of cool stuff. Well, come over here though, because there's something over here that we haven't really used yet and there's big plans for. There's a tree house, there's a Batman wall, there's a jungle gym. This is a big hole that goes down to a, bunk a bunker, but we sealed it shut because it's infested. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of gross. But this, this is what I'm talking about. Massive hole in the ground. Huge hole. Yeah. <laughs> we did the unbreakable box down there, but that wasn't why we even dug this hole. We dug it for something else. Can't even remember why. But we're gonna use it in a future video, hopefully, so you guys will see that in the future. I'm not even gonna say near future. Yeah, sometime in the future. Down over there, we have a giant coffin built. Uh, the zip line that goes through here. But this is like the front half of the property. A once working hot tub room, now turned abandoned hot tub room. Ugh. It's just uh, nothing. We never used it. This could be destroyed. Yeah, it probably should be. <laughs> the thing with like hot tubs is you have to maintain them. And since someone doesn't live here, that's just like an extra job that is pointless. Maintaining a hot tub. <clears throat> when you've got an inflatable hot tub. This, this was actually just recently installed. Astro turf, fake grass. Ooh. It changes the environment out here. Yeah, it's multi-use because it looks nice. You can film stuff on it, but also this was just like Mudville. Like you, any, if you walk anywhere at all, it's just you're standing in the mud and oh, it was awful. So now no more mud. It's just nice. We live in Colorado, so it, it snows and rains a lot during the winter months. So this is a great idea. Right over there, you can see just a bunch of nautical nonsense because we use that space for a lot of sets. Currently, there's a tent there because a different video shoot we're working on right now. Uh-huh. And then we got the infamous basketball court, which we installed for the ten versus $20,000 basketball court budget challenge video. This gets a lot of use. This was our best ball, but something happened. It's flat now. Yeah, but these don't go flat, which means someone probably popped it. Ah, uh, close. <laughs> this is fun, because it's like, obviously we live in the woods, so we got a lot of rolling hills, but this is a nice flat area that's outdoors if we need to use it for anything, which we have. And during lunch, we'll come out and play, play 21. Bless you, Isaac. Sorry. <laughs> this uh, is the ambulance. You guys have actually, I've seen a lot of comments talking about where's the ambulance. You haven't seen it forever. It's here but it doesn't start at the moment. So I'm not sure why, but that's why we haven't used it. We used to use it all the time for just even just going to Home Depot because it's actually a good like work truck. It fits a lot of stuff. We do live on five acres. We have a lot of space. So basically more trees back here. Here's our micro yacht we built. So now it's just chilling right here. Used to have chickens here in the chicken pen, but now they went to Andrew's house. They moved. They moved. Chicken's not here, which means we could probably destroy all of this. Yeah, this is a pretty cool space though. Oh, maybe we should do a podcast episode inside a chicken coop. Here we have the OG barn. 
which is currently being used as a storage facility for, for example, wood. This is a great little, wow. Somebody knocked over all the two by fours. Jackson, was that you? <laughs> Anyways, you got all your wood stored up here. You know, your different pieces and flavors. Yeah, we just keep it. We always need wood, so it's here. And then we walk this way to the front of the barn. And uh, this is really a more, yeah, like Justin said, a storage, but also like a workshop now. Another point that you guys have been asking is where is the barn bunker? There's no bunker because we have concrete in here now. Yeah, isn't that crazy? This whole barn used to be completely empty and we built a bunker underneath it because it was just dirt. But then the bunker filled up with mold and we said, forget about it. So I filled it all in, concrete. Now we have these amazing shelves. It's actually really cool. Samuel and Blake built these. So you can organize. Look, we got a whole box. Like this box is probably worth like a thousand dollars with PS five, four, three, two, and VR goggles. <laughs> so basically anything we buy eventually will make its way on, on these shelves. So anytime we need like picture frames or posters, okay, we got it right here. We have tents, chairs, plants, light bulbs. Here's our record player. Here's an eyeglass thing. Arr, matey. Ah, more merch randomly. Look at this. We got Christmas Whoa. merch, guys. <laughs> you small. JC Christmas sweater. Looks like we got a whole box of them in here. What should we do with those? Who wants one? <laughs> yeah, let us know if you want one. A relic. This is our massive Plinko board we built for our live show we did last year. Now it just sits in Anyways, here. Anyways, this is more of the workshop. So we've got duct tape and concrete and all the tools and screws and nails and whatever you need. Samuel and Jackson are responsible for this. So look at this organization. Uh-huh. You got nails, batteries. This Jackson just built, which is a cannon of sorts. <laughs> it's epic. We started with a normal trash can and that would fill up in one hour. So we had to get a massive industrial trash can and it looks like it's empty because it was picked up today. Oh, you're right. So this will fill up every week with stuff. Well, this is a shipping container. Well, I'll just kind of tell you what, that big hole that you saw, this is gonna go down in it eventually. <laughs> and how long ago did we buy this? I don't know. <laughs> months and months and months. And uh, we've had other priorities, so it's kind of been put on the back burner. <clears throat> All right, well, I think we'll go into the warehouse now. As you guys know, because we've talked about it on different podcasts, this has been our big investment into the property. Let's go around the front door. But also this, we added this concrete sidewalk because again, mud. Now you don't have to walk in the mud. Where the editors spend 80% of their time is in this warehouse. And it's pretty sweet. Welcome to the foyer as the Egyptians call it. This is where you come to hang out. We got couches. Uh, another YouTuber made us that, epic. You wanna chill? We got the inspirational Monopoly pictures. Uh, a, a coffee little setup, which occasionally gets used. Now you can talk about what you wanted to talk about before, but I stopped you, because this is where you'd wanna talk about it. You're right. First of all, no one's used this, but this is a temp tempo workout station. <laughs> but yeah, here's what Drew blurred out earlier. This, look under here, get a shot of that, Isaac. For all you nerds out there, you're probably like, whoa, what is that? And to be honest, I don't really know exactly what it is. <laughs> but uh, the editors use it, and we also have gigabit, one gigabyte speed internet, fiber internet. Is that what it's called? Yeah. But that's external. Oh, scared me. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> we have the, yeah, the fiber coming in, which is, yeah, one gig speed, but then internal is 10 gig speed. So the editors, they can edit from computer to computer based off this thing. So you can share footage, you can work off the same timeline, all that stuff, because the internal speed is so fast and you can share, not share, but like store all the files here instead of it like per computer basis. So we have like our own network. We, we paid like, 15 grand to have fiber internet installed out here 
along with the system. Which so yeah, this is the wired connection, but we also have access to the network at our computer desk. So we can just jump in, look at footage, look at thumbnails, whatever. Yeah, when Rick and the team are done with the edits, they'll be like, hey, the video's in the NAS. So we'll go down to our computer, click it open, and it's right there. So it makes it really convenient. Podcast ideas. A whiteboard wall? Ideas? Yeah. And then you can write them down. Studio tour. Super nice. So every Friday, our entire team will come in here. And we also got a TV because um, we have someone else who's on our team who doesn't actually live here. So we'll do meetings with him. Uh, we got all our plaques here, which is super cool. And uh, it's just a nice little conference room. Oh, what you all have been waiting for. What's behind this door? The editor's bay. Let's go inside and take a look. Here we are, where all the edits get done and thumbnail work. So we got Drew right here. You guys know Drew. He uh, rough cuts all the JStu videos and edits JStu Studios. We got Matt working on JStu videos over here. And then we got Rick over here. You guys, of course, know Rick. He works on the thumbnails. He works on the JStu intro. He oversees everything. <laughs> and he gets to sit right by this beautiful sign we just had installed. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing you said, Rick, about this sign is it doesn't change colors. It it's does all... not change colors. So do I look evil sitting under it like this? Like Oof. if I go like this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this sign was so expensive and it's only red. Why? It's sick. Yeah, but you think with the money we paid for this sign that it would change colors? Oh, well, you ordered it red. I didn't order anything. You could blame Carice for this. <laughs> Anytime we have a problem at the office, it's Carice's fault. Dang it, Carice. Yeah, but didn't you guys say you wanted to go with like a white and red theme for the whole room? Hey, don't go by what we said we oh. wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. What are we working on? Oh, right now we're doing little touch-ups on the mega tent video. Mega, mega Look tent. Look at this epic widescreen monitor. Yeah, so right now we got, we're doing mega. And then these little objects go bloop. Mega. And this object <laughs> Oh, mega. And then over here, this is actually a, an extremely cool monitor. Would you really even call this a monitor, Rick? Uh, no. I would say it's like a drawing tablet. Drawing tablet? The so. biggest iPad ever. Rick can draw all sorts of animation. Like this? Check this out. Huh? It's got a little pencil. Yeah. That's a good drawing. Fancy. <laughs> That was a fantastic drawing. <laughs> Ooh, what's in the editor's fridge? Oh, oh Starbucks? Starbucks coffee? All it is is coffee. Ooh. You guys know how much Rick loves coffee, so I, that makes sense. Ooh, look at the decorations we got here on Drew's desk. We got Pikachu, another Pokemon, and Halo. Drew, what are you working on? I am working on survival challenge. Wow. Are yeah. you just loving it so far? Are you having a good old laugh? Oh yeah. And Matt, Perfect. what are you awesome. working on? I'm working on lunch. Woo! Oh, steak, Yay! potato, and broccoli. Leftovers, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what I work on like uh, eight hours a day, is eating steak. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, we're wife. working, like Rick said, we're working on the tent, the uh, mega tent. You can see here, uh, Isaac in a lot of pain, holding a, a gallon of milk. Um, for those of you who thought the chip thing wasn't real, it was. And um, I have to sit here and watch him vomit again and again and again. <laughs> so thanks, guys. I'm sorry, it man. makes me want to gag. Oh, so, I'm sorry, Matt. Perfect. And you'll notice that Matt is standing up because they each have options. You could sit down with his desk or stand up. Just pretty sweet. Oh, and the chair. Ah. Got what? Some of these people want to know, like, okay, what are they using? Oh, yeah. This is, this is a secret lab chair. Mm. With a nice pillow on the back. Excuse me? Drew's new haircut. You know what we really need is we need to get the footrest for this. Look yeah. at this. Yeah. And you can go all the way back. <laughs> oh. Footrest? Um, you should try anything like that. Like you can put your, your mouse <laughs> right there. <laughs> also, this is Drew's uh, personal brake station. He can go in there and take a break. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you guys missed. Puppy was here yesterday. Yeah, sure, should have. All right, 
Bye, guys. This is the warehouse. Oh. Ta-da! Huge! It's pretty exciting, huh? I was trying to think if I knew how many square foot this was. I can't remember. It's definitely as big as a house. It's probably like 3,000. Yeah. But anyway, because you guys usually only see the things that we want you to see on camera. So we've got our Ikea stations over there. We've got the Plinko board over there. But when we film, we usually only film intentionally those spots. Yeah, behind here we got the <clears throat> micro... Apartment. Apartment. The Minecraft blocks, which we still don't know exactly what we're going to do with these because obviously they take up so much room. I feel like we have to deassemble them. I mean, yeah, look how much space it takes up just storing the boxes that we're not using. Uh, currently, we're shooting a video tomorrow. So Samuel and Jackson have been building these walls for a tree house. So. Yeah, see, like we put this tarp around here so you're, you're not seeing the other sets that we're using. So that's why the tarp is here. But you, yeah, like... You've already seen this video, the micro apartment, which we're gonna change into something else. Whoa, a big Kriggy. Check it out. The massive Lego board. Which, it just never gets old, guys. It's just so much fun. Wish I had this at my house. I could be like, hey, Mike, what do you want for dinner? Oh! What'd I get? Ten dollars. Oh, we only get ten dollars for dinner tonight? Man! Oh, man. <laughs> it's actually a good budgeting strategy. Not, yeah, unless you hit the thousand dollars <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't know where all these are. Probably going up to the barn at some point for supplies. But you saw the barn. It's not like that big. So this, I mean, <clears throat> the barn will overflow if we literally put everything we have in the barn. Um, and then who knows what we're gonna do with these uh, Ikea rooms. Thank the Lord we have heat in this building because when winter comes, it is freezing, but we got a massive heater up in the ceiling. Yeah, it's over there. Can you see it up there? And Super got, Zoom. A thermostat over there. Oh my goodness. Is that for the treehouse? Yeah. Oh, that would be a good drive through window for the Starbucks. That yeah, would have been. Yeah, so that's really one of the big reasons we even built this warehouse was because the weather. It's nice to have somewhere to make videos when we don't want to make every video outside and freeze. Well, there you have it. Thanks for checking out our space and thanks for supporting us because without you guys watching our videos, we wouldn't be able to do this cool stuff. And it's for you guys, so thank you. Yeah, thanks for subscribing. And as you guys know, the podcast is on Spotify and Apple Podcasts too. So if you ever want to listen on there, to do it. But as always, guys, make sure you laugh daily. And we'll see you on the next episode.